Good evening, you lovelies out there. Welcome in, welcome in. It's your boy, Le Shaman. I'm on the AI 613. How y'all doing? So, I just got off work not too long ago, and I figured, hey, I'm going to play a little bit of Pokemon TCG. Um, now, initially, I didn't plan on streaming this, and there's two big reasons why. Reason number one, the game moves fast-ish. Super fast. Like, it, it's... it's pretty freaking fast like uh, if you don't know how to play this game then you ain't like i don't even understand what's going on sometimes because i'm not familiar with all the meta stuff and cards and stuff you know i'm trying to get more familiarized with that um i still am not uh number two um like i said i'm getting refam like trying to get familiar with some of the stuff that's played more commonly now in this game um the last time i even did like a pokemon tcg stream was like way back way before the even this live thing was uh initiated before it was something else but um and again, the last time I even played this game was like I was playing the Game Boy Color version of this game on Switch. And obviously that's way older and, you know, not as advanced. Um, so what I figured I'd do is I do like a practice run, warm up run here with the deck I've been trying out. So I looked at, they give you, they give you some decks to start with. Um, not to start with, but some already made up ones, and I think they're like free for a while. But uh, the one I found, I tried the Arcanine one first, and it was okay. And then I looked at a list of like what's the best ones to start out with, and Charizard EX was was that like number one. And I tried it, and I definitely liked it way more than the Arcanine one. Um. But that being said, I don't actually own a lot of cards in this game in general. I really just started kind of getting into this a couple years back, I'd say. But really, I haven't been, like, uh, you know, uh, seriously collecting or anything like that. I, every now and then, I'd buy, like, a pack or two, you know. And that was it. Um... But yeah, I, I'm going to, I'll, I'll try and like, I'm going to, for those of you who don't play this game, I think I'll take the time to explain how things work here. But first I'm going to do like, I, like I said, I'm going to do a, a test run. Here's the entire deck here. Um, it's really, like, it's really didn't take me too long to understand it and i didn't even like read all the cards i just kept played it a few times and i'm getting faster with it but i'm still a little so yeah as you can see here there's a bunch of already like pre-made ones and then there's like there's ones that you can use more with the more advanced uh uh, exp it's called expanded rule set. There's a standard rule set. Expand I'm playing, obviously, I'm doing standard. But, um, and the neat thing is, is you could test each one out and try them out for yourself. Um, like I said, I already tried the Arcanine one. I, for the purposes of this, yo! Hi, it's Diesel with a rate of five. What up, hi, Day? Yo, what up, Raiders? Welcome in, welcome in. I was just explaining things for people who don't play this game. And, um, I, I, okay, so, but thank you for the, uh, raid. I appreciate that, Mr. Hines. I'm sorry I can never catch your streams, man. I'm always work like, like I said, I have goofy, like, work hours, man. I just happen to get, I'll give you a shout out anyway, because, you know, I like you. Um, Oh my Wait, god, I have, oh, I've been thinking about playing some Call of Duty, not gonna lie, but not the uh, new no, shit. Oof. Call for friends. It's all cool. No! Oh, come on! You... 
dirty little turd. Uh, this penguin is like stressing me out. Hey, go. got it. That was nice. Let's go. Nice. Got my butt kicked in gun game. That's all right. I get my ass kicked in that game all the time. Send that. I haven't played Call of Duty in a long ass time, too. Let me tell you. But anyway, uh, welcome, Bit Raiders. Uh, best I got was third. Hey, I. You know what? I don't think I've ever won a gun game. I think I've gotten maybe second or third a few times too. So, like I said, I'm not the greatest. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna stick to the Charizard deck because, like, trying to learn all these decks will confuse the shit out of me. And I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna test it out and kind of explain things. And then I'm gonna go online. All right, so here we go. First coin flip. All right, got that heads, baby. Now on the first turn, you cannot do certain things. Like I can't even put energy on my Pokemon, which you're allowed to do once per turn. Now, I, I mean, there's a lot to take in here. First of all, there's a little emo thing over here, which is on the left, which is kind of neat, but that's not important. Um, there's a log here where you could look at like cards if you get confused. Um, this number six over here on the upper left. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse on the screen, but um, that means those are the prize cards I'm trying to win. And you get those by knocking Pokemon out. Um, now, in the first turn, it says I need to drag a basic to the spot. I only have one I could drag. These other two are evolved, so I can't put them there. Like, this is state. See how it says on the up again? I know it's hard to see. Sorry. So, on the upper left of this card I got here, kind of highlighted for you guys. I could click on it more. There we go. It says stage one evolves from Charmander. I'm only allowed to put, like, basic shit up first because, like, this is a big... Even though this is a legendary bird, it says basic on the upper left corner there. All right, hate to rate run by Prostate Kid on Movie Night. I'll be lurking. Hey, no problem. Have... What are you watching? Have a good movie. Is it Disney, DreamWorks, comedy, action, horror? Thank you for the lurk, and thank you for the raid. Um, so, anyway. It says... Yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, this is a legendary bird and all. It doesn't matter. It, yeah, you, you have to read the cards. Something Disney probably will. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Although Disney has kind of irked me. But then again, that's not all Disney's fault. It's just the higher-ups. Like, I love their movies and a lot of the people there. But Jesus Christ. Anyway, I won't get into that. Um, so, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so, the only thing in my hand I could summon is this bird right here so you it's important to read cards because you would assume that for example this charizard over here since charmeleon's a fight like a fire as you can see in the upper right there's a little fire symbol uh obviously it says his weakness is water which is obvious if you've ever played the games and you need to put fire specifically fire energy on him too to get him to use his attack and again, all this is very clearly said on the card. Now, if you look at this Charizard, again, it's important. The, there's two things that stick out here. First of all, this is not a fire Pokemon. This is a dark Pokemon. Second of all, his weakness isn't water. It's grass. You still have to put fire energy. But again, with... Now, a lot of the the mindset you might have for like regular Pokemon can still apply most of the time, but all it boils down to is reading the card. Um, there's other things too, but those aren't important as far as like again. There, this one says it has a retreat of two. That just means you you get rid of two energy on them and you can put them back on your bench, which is this this big long bar here on the bottom um but anyway i only have one i cannot play any of the uh, any of these other car all i can do is basically what the games tell me so i, I could put a basic right here and then if i had any more basics i could put it on the bench 
Okay, so far so good. I know, I'm going to be spitting a lot of shit at you, but like, this isn't time, this is just a computer, so. Um, if this was like online, I'm assuming there's a 30 minute, 39 minute time limit, which you wouldn't think is a lot, but there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot going on. You might, and obviously you're not going to be familiar with every, every card in this freaking game. I know I sure as hell ain't. And on top of that, you, like, these, these mod, Pokemon, there's like different variances of them, like there's different types of Charizard, different types, et etc. et cetera. But anyway... So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Um, I can't do anything with it. I'm not allowed to put energy on it. You need three to get him to attack. I can't even use abilities. Um, his ability is pretty simple. It has no retreat cost if it has a fire energy. So I could put a fire, one fire on, on him, put him right back on my bench anytime I want. I don't even have to use up a retreat, uh, an energy attached to him. Anyway, so yeah, that's all I'm allowed to do first turn. Now, my opponent can, you know, do a little bit, bit more than me, but he's not allowed to attack. He, no attacking on this turn. All right, so it's back to me. All right, so now you obviously you have. Again, even if you're not familiar with the game, everything is laid out for you there, crystal clear. This is a, like, here's a supporter card, and it says very crystal clear you can only play one during your turn. Okay? There's the effect, right? That's what it does right there. Easy peasy. Item card. This is an item card. And again, even if you for, you forget, it tells you right there, smack dab in the bottom there. You can play any number you want during your turn. It tells you the effect right there. Easy peasy. Now, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was complicated as shit. You would think, oh, well, it's the same with you. No, there's there's a lot more to it. It's like, I, I don't even want to explain it. It's, it's fucking complicated. Just take my word for it. Um, okay, so, I don't have any energy, can't attach anything, not the end of the world, uh, he can't do anything, he, he only, he needs one, um, my weakness isn't water, it's electricity, because I'm a flying type, you, you, you don't, oh, also, I don't know if you noticed, there's a, um, on below weakness there, there's a res I have resistance too, so any fighting moves that hit me do 30 less damage. All right, anyway. So, <clears throat> if I were to have three energy on him, my attack, it says, does 120 to one of the bench Pokemon, but I have to discard two energy, which <clears throat> honestly kind of sucks. If I were running this deck, I would probably not have this card in my deck. It kind of sucks, honestly. Um, this is just a pre-made deck. Uh, let's see. Or I I could use it for, like, using this, for example. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, activate this card, which is really useful. So this is going to let me summon two basic Pokemon from my deck to my bench that have 70 or less attack. Uh, attack. Or HP, I'm sorry. HP being in the upper right corner. So for this deck, I'm going to put Pidgey first and Charmander first. I'm going to prioritize them. Um, and I'm going to explain why as we go along here. Char Charmander being like, you know... I have Charmeleon and Charizard in my hand, so I can get him... Like, I can get Charizard out. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Oh, I thought somebody said something in the chat. Never mind, that was something else. Never mind. Anyway, um... Okay, so I got... Yeah, I'm gonna put them on my bench, which is this thing down here. I can have up... Unless there's a specific card, like a stadium card that says otherwise, the basic rule is I can have up to five here. Now, I just put Charmander there. I have to wait a turn before I can evolve them. And then, same with Charizard X. Then I would have to wait another turn for him. Again, 
that's the basic stuff. There's cards that allow me to do, to do that quicker, like this Pokemon tool over here. If I were to put an energy on somebody and then use that, then I could evolve them. Two of my bench Pokemon, I could evolve them both. I would lose the card, obviously, because I use it, but um, again, it's all it's all there, crystal clear. I'm gonna go ahead and use this support card, which is which allows me to get a tool and a item from my deck, and then I shuffle it, and then of course I can only use one. Alright. Oh wait, it's the second turn. I don't think I'm allowed oh never mind. I'm not allowed to use that yet. Pardon me, I'm incorrect. I'm still kind of getting re-familiar with the rules too, so if I said something wrong, excuse me. Yeah, see, it won't let me use it right now. Okay, um, there's no point in using this card. I don't have three Pokemon in basic. I don't have anything in my grave. I'm going to call this the graveyard over here because I, I, I might use some Yu-Gi-Oh terms, excuse me, because that's what I'm used to. That's what I used to play. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Nothing else I can do. All right. Right now, my... Now, look. See how fast things are going to go here? Like, I can't even, like, stop the what's going on and read what he's go, doing. So, if there's anything I'm unfamiliar with, I can click on that little... This little... Uh, little magnifying glass thing over here and I can like take take a second and read this uh, so this stadium car it basically means anything out on the field is one star less retreat that's it's a stadium card which means it just stays on the field and but anytime somebody plays a stadium it like most of the time it means both people both players can use it um, all right so if I wanted to put this back in my hand, I'd only need one energy, which is kind of nice. He doesn't need any. Um, all right, so anyway, uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I don't know, I'm only sure. Pokemon, cool. do I want to do that? Yeah, let's go ahead and use the support card. Uh, let's see here. Rare candy. Okay, so I could use this rare candy and get Charizard on the field right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, hmm, yeah, I'll put that in my hand and then I got an option of putting a tool. So I'll just put, I don't know, Defiance Band. I don't like that card, but uh, that's just whatever. All right, so, um, so I could go ahead, since I have a stage two in my hand, I could go ahead and evolve this Charmander right away. Eh. And then his ability activates. I get to add fire cards to my, three fires to my hand, and then attach them to whatever I want. I know, it's fucking, it's stupid good. I'm gonna put two on him because he only needs two. And then uh let's see. I don't I don't know. Should I put it on my Moltres? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my Moltres because I want to. Oh wait, yeah. Now it's free. Because of the stadium card. Oh sweet. Alright, so. I would like to evolve my Pidgey, but I can't. Let's see. What a, I'm trying to weigh in my options here. So I'll get rid of Charmeleon and Defiance Band. Because I have to discard two. So let's get rid of that. And get rid of that. Done. Let's go ahead and add a Pidgey. What, well, let's see. Let me think. Hmm. 
Actually, let's go ahead and add Pidgeot, because if I could get the right card, I could evolve my Pidgey right away. Oh, also, I could use this technical machine. That works, too. Okay, see? I got other options. So I'll go ahead and... Let's see. It says choose up to two. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to keep him on the field. I'm going to go ahead and use the evolution option here. There we go. See? Look at that. Nice move there. Now, I did. not only did I not have to search for the Pidgeotto, but now I can get EX on the next turn. Instead of having to wait for the right card. Nice. Alright. I can't look. I couldn't tell you what this guy's playing. It. Look how fast everything's going. So he just removed cards from play. I'm just kind of explaining my deck. I'm not worried about him. He used his ability. Sent two cards removed. He used an item. He switched his bench with his, whatever was on the field. He has no energy on it. Can't attack. All right. Now I'm going to evolve my Pidgeotto. And this is where this dark deck shines. Or this card shines right here. This Poke Pidgeot EX is fucking ridiculously good. It has an ability I could just search for any card I want and put it in my hand. Anything. any Anything I... I like, it's freaking stupid good. Um, so what the hell should I put in my hand? Be the clip. No, no, I don't want that. I don't have another Pidgey, which sucks. Um. Hmm. I'm going to get a Radiant. I don't want that. I'm going to put a Radiant Charizard in my hand. I'm put him on my bench. Uh, I could search for tools if I want. Hmm. Do I have energy? I don't have any energy. I have one in the grave. Yeah, I'll just search for a couple more tools. Thin out my deck a bit more. Um. Oh yeah, let's do. Let's do nest ball and that. Yeah, boom. Okay. Nest ball lets me search for any basic Pokemon. Put it on my bench. I'm gonna put this on my bench. Why? So this card's handy because if he try the opponent tries to attack anything on my bench, which you can do in this game with certain abilities, it this card basically says, Nope, I prevent all damage. As you can see right there, there's his ability, wave veal veil. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go on the offense, but I have something I can't use. I was explaining a bit earlier about something called Retreat. So, normally, on the card there, um, it, would, it says you need two energy on it. But because of the Stadium card and because of my own effect, it's going to cost me nothing. So, I'm going to go ahead and Retreat. And now I'm going to choose something on my bench. And I'm obviously going to put my Charizard because that's what I can attack with. Now this thing is fucking d disgusting, okay? So first of all, if he's on the bench, you can't you can't hurt it. Alright? Not that it, again, mana feed covers for him, but... Now for, every, for each prize card my opponent takes, he hasn't taken any, I get to do 30 more damage. Right now I could do 180 damage, which is still pretty, pretty damn good. And I used his ability earlier too, which allowed me to add the three energy cards if I evolve something for, me, for my hand during my turn. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attack for 180 and kill it. And since I killed a Pokemon, I get to take a card from his pool. Now, if he had killed my EX Pokemon, he would take two, because it says on here, because EXs are kind of powerful, he could take two. But anyway, he's attaching an energy. You could, you could do that once per turn. He put it on one of his bench. 
Um, I just drew, okay, so it's my turn. I drew this card. Um, so the thing about this card is if you have like not a lot of cards in your prize pool, you're not going to draw a lot, but it basically forces you and your opponent to like shuffle your hand and then redraw. So, but anyway, uh, I don't need to use that because I have a decent hand. Um, actually, I could. So if I had like, this card is really good, Iono, by the way. So if I had like one card in my hand and and they hadn't taken any of my prize cards, I could draw a lot of cards, basically. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and play this. Put my Charmander there. Um, let's see. I don't really need anything in my hand, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. And draw five, six new cards, right? Five new cards, excuse me, five. All right, let me read that one more time, sorry. Each player draws a card for each of the remaining prize cards. I don't know why it wasn't six, but okay. I drew five, whatever. Um, I guess that means each of mine that I I, I took because he has six and I have five. I guess that means mine. So I guess if I haven't taken that many, then I, I, it's good. All right. Anyway, uh, gonna use Pidgeot's ability. Put anything I I want in my hand. I'll go ahead and put Charmeleon. Since I already have a Charizard in my hand. Uh, I cannot evolve because because I just put Charmander on the bench. However, and I can't use this either because I just put Charmander on the bench. <laughs> anyway, I'll go ahead and smoke the ever living crap out of this guy with 180 attack. Oh. Charmander. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, you got a Giratina V. Now, that looks like a powerful card, but again, if you read it, it's a basic card. Uh, he's got Giratina V on the field, but he only has one energy on it, so he can't use his second attack. Which, and you have to have the other cards in the Lost Zone. He has to specifically, for this card to attack, he has to specifically have a Grass Energy, a Psychic Energy, and a Basic Any any Energy. If he had, like, say, three Grass out on him, he still couldn't use that move. Just wanted to clarify that. Alright, anyway. Um... I don't have to wait two turns. I could go ahead and play this right away. Get him in the bench. Activate his effect. Dungeon rings. I obviously put two on him and I'll go ahead and put one on my Eh, let's just put it on Moltres. It don't matter. I'm about to win anyway. I'm fucking smoking this guy. Plus, I already have another... In case he kills my Charizard EX, I already have another one on waiting on the bench. Hey, I got a basic energy out of that, too. Nah, I don't thumbs down me. Okay, he's got Cramorant. Oh, he was still able to attack me, not even though he had... Ah, see, even though he had to have three energy on it, his ability allowed me to... Allowed him to attack me because he has four more cards in the Lost Zone. 
that's this little black portal thing any, over here. That All that basically means is any card that goes in there is removed from the game. Um, uh, unless the card specifically says otherwise, you can't touch those cards. Alright, anyway. Um, so I have 100. So he hit me with the 110 attack. It says it right there on the card, 110. I have 110 damage, so I could take... Uh, you know, 200 more damage before my Charizard goes to the grave. Uh, let's see. So I got, let's see what should, I can search. Uh, let's go ahead and put energy on Moltres. I really don't have to search. At this point, I don't have to search for anything. I'm not even going to bother. I'm already pretty well set up here. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and attack him. <laughs> and kill it. And let's see, get another prize card. Okay. Pretty simple deck, right? You just get Charizard and then you, you kill him. Use Pidgeot to search your deck. Mana Fee to protect your bench. Easy shit. Oh. He does have two energy on the Giratina, but he needs a, a grass on him still in order to use him. Or not a grass, a psychic. Unless that card he has attached does something. Is that jet energy? Yeah, so no, he can't attack because he has jet energy attached to it. But he, he needs a psychic energy. Okay. See, I can look at its effect while it's my turn here, too. Or I could, again, click on this and be like, oh, what the hell does this thing do? Okay, got it. Uh, let's see. I can't kill it this turn. Um... I guess I'll go ahead and put energy on him. Why not? Let's see if I can search for another energy real quick. Yeah, I do have one more. Okay, cool. There's no limit to how many cards you can have in your hand, so... It, it's not a big... I don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, so I'm going to hit him with a fire move. Is that... What's he weak? He's not, he doesn't have any weakness or resistances, so um, so I'm not going to do anything special as far as the attack is going to be a normal attack, and that ends my turn. Anytime you attack, or say, uh, it basically means your turn up. So he's got, he's going to kill my Charizard, which is fine. Okay, never mind. He decided to switch him out for whatever reason. Uh, okay. Okay. He's got to attack for 30. Um, a measly 30. Ooh. Ouch. Now, again, let me emphasize this deck is not optimized. To its full potential. This is just something that the game threw together. I didn't throw this together at all. I could, I could probably think of a few different cards I'd play in it, but overall, it's still pretty strong. And uh, let's go ahead and finish him off. He's got one. I got one card, and that's. And once I get every card in the prize pool, or he can't put anything on the bench or field, it's game over. Victory! Okay. And that was the deck, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I explained things very quickly. I tried to take it a little slow, I know. So basically, in conclusion, you put basic Pokemon on the field. You can attach energy to Pokemon. There's cards that do different, does different shit. Just have to read the card, like this 
stadium supporter card lets me draw seven by discarding my hand, and I can only play one per turn. Um, and then there's item cards, and, and that, and you know what? It's fucking easy, isn't it? Like, let me give you an example. If you were, say, like a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you could have, like, a monster, right? Just any, like, not even, an, I'm going to say not a normal, because nobody plays normal monsters usually in a, in a Yu-Gi-Oh game, because they're, like, usually two or three turns long. You could have, like, I think, I don't even know how many different types. There's, there's, there's synchro monsters, there's fusion monsters, there's linked monsters, there's... I think that's what they're called. I don't even know. There's Exceed Monster. There's different types. Um, you could have, say, a monster with an effect, and it could have, like, a lot of freaking text on there, you know, that you would have to read and understand. Like, it could have, like, one ability, two abilities, even three ability, different abilities. It's nuts. It's... It, you would... It seems simple, but then there's, like, all these different rules, like, Trigger effects, chain effects, timing, and it's just like, ugh. It's very complicated. I'm telling you, it's complicated. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take this deck online. Uh, I watched the video. It recommended me not to play casual, play go right into ranked, because usually the tryhards are in casual. That's a, you know, because they, you know, they want to. The sweaties, the tryhards, they want to play. They want to play for reals, you know. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be. I'm very. I'm new. I'm gonna be playing against people who are my rank. Um, and uh, this will be my very first time. And I just picked it. I messed around with a few decks. I tried the. I, I only tried a couple, honestly. I tried the Arcanine one and the Charizard one, and I re I really like the Charizard one. So yeah, I'm just gonna play some games on here. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pro. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get my ass handed to. All right, I'll pick tails this time. And I'm gonna go first. Oh, I could choose to go first or not. I'll just say yes. Alright. Also, of important another thing to note, if you can't play a Pokemon on your first turn, you have to take a mulligan and they get to draw a card. Uh, okay, so I can only play Charmander. That's all I have in my hand. And that's it, that's all I can do. I can't attach anything, can't play any of these cards yet. Um, he can't attack either, but he's allowed to put energy on his monster if he ch so chooses. He also is playing a Charmander deck. Uh, although, as you can see, his Charmander is completely different m from my Charmander. His is Go, mine isn't. It has a different effect. So, he has nothing else on the bench. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a... Uh, energy on him. I'm not allowed to attack yet. It won't let me attack. And I'll go ahead and end my turn. He only needs to put one energy on him. And not only he can hit me for 10. And, and he can search his deck for an energy card. But I really have... Unless I, the only option I have right now is I, I could discard my entire hand and draw seven new cards, but I don't want to do that. Oh, I guess you can't, he couldn't attack yet. Okay, so look, I got a nice tool card here, which helps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that first. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add. Let's see, I'm going to put Ultra Ball in my hand because it lets me search for anything at the cost of two. And I'll go ahead and put a, uh, a TM machine in my hand in case I want to use that. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to discard my boss's order and my 
Let's see, what else should I get rid of? Uh, I'll get rid of my switch. And I'll put Charmillion in my hand. Okay, I can go ahead and evolve them. And I can put, I'm gonna put another energy on them. And I really don't have a lot of options here, so this is all I can basically do. I'm gonna hit him. He doesn't have any resistance, so it's gonna do 50. And that's it, I have to end my turn. And it's his turn. As you can see, there's a countdown here. Oh, he went ahead and evolved his, but he only has one energy on him. So best he could do is scratch me for 30. So we, yeah, we got to tie. I have to hurry up. I can't really take my time and explain things thoroughly. Okay, so he just drew, like, discarded his whole hand and drew seven new cards. I'll try to explain things, but I have to be fucking quick. Uh, he's thinking about his move. Again, there's 20. He has a timer. Once that timer hits zero, it's automatic forfeit. That helps me too. He's probably going to use that and attach an. Uh, he probably won't attach an energy because that's going to do 20 damage to him automatically. So, yeah, he's just going to hit me for 30. But the thing is, is he has nothing in his bench, so I basically won. You know, all I have to do is attack. It's over. He has nothing on his bench. Nothing on the field. It's that's game. It doesn't matter what prize card I pick, it's all, it's all, all over. We won our first online game, let's fucking go! Woo! Now his Charmeleon needed four energy. And two of them had to be fire. And if he used that 100 attack, he had, he would have to get rid of an energy attached, so. My Charmillion, on the other hand, only need two. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet first victory, baby. Hey, Corrupted, thanks for the first ever game of mine. Level two. Appreciate the game, man. I'm new at this, too. Somewhat new. Not completely new. Oh yeah, delicious coinage. I really have no idea what even the, all any of this shit is, honestly. <laughs> I got a clef as my little symbol now. Yay! Oh, that's right. I got battle pass shit too. I can collect. Yay! I got little quests like I do. Deal four hundred. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to watch that video again because it recommended things I should do. But I'm not going to spend any of this right now. I'm going to hold off on that. All right. Good first game. I'm going to get some water real quick before I hit, hit the next game up. I remember I was playing the Game Boy Color game and somebody in the chat was like, can you explain game i'm like i'll I, I said no i said i could try but it's like, <laughs> it's like it'd be kind of weird i don't know i made excuses but anyway all right next game ranked i'm using a standard rules deck so if i were i think I'm not sh entirely sure if I was using the expanded one, it would have like certain cards banned, I think. All right, here goes our next opponent. First Caballero, whatever his name is. Clip that freaking coin. I got tails, I called heads, so he gets to pick. Now, st strategically speaking, I don't know which is... Oh, somebody's playing Black Ops 3 Zombies. See, I want to kind of play that myself, honestly. I might, I might go raid him and say hi after this game. Um, Alright, so I only have one... That sucks. That's all I have. That's alright. 
Uh, he's already got a Chien Pao on the field, man. Ugh. This is already not looking good. Um, I could go, I can't add, I can't do anything. Even, okay, so I can't attach this energy to it because it won't do anything. Um, I can't put anything on the bench. I have to end my turn. There's nothing I can do. It's saying attach energy, but it won't do anything because you have to have water attached to it, not fire. This is fire. All right, what? Oh, what's this? What did he just do? Draw three, switch out your opponent, I know him to the bench. But I don't have anything in the bench, so you can't do that. This guy's got three things on the bench already, so he's definitely using his own deck, I can tell right away. Oh man, this is fucking not good. All right, at least I got a stadium card. That'll help me out. All right, so yeah, we're gonna use that and give me a nice tool. Actually, actually, just go ahead and add one of those to it. There we go. All right, All right we can cook a little bit. Uh, I got a Charmander. Let's go ahead and add Charmander to the, to the thing, yeah. Um, put energy on him. And again, that's all I could do to end my turn. Now, I could also put a energy on my mana fee and evolve my Charmeleon into Charizard. That's one option I got. Uh, he did 20 to my Charmander. Oh, that was dirty! I don't know how he did 20 to my Charmander, but it sucks for me. Okay. Alright, I can't use my te my machine no more because he switched my Charmander out. Sucks for me. Um, however, I can evolve it. And I'm going to go ahead and add, add energy to it. And I'm going to play another Arvin, because why not? We'll play that. Actually, we're going to get an Ultra Ball, and, and might as well pick another. We'll do Defiance Ban. All right, so this thing has Steel we uh, Weakness, but I don't have any Steel. Um, let's see. I want to, disc I want to get a Charizard X... Uh, but I want to hold off on that because he might kill my Charmeleon. Um, go ahead and get the Fires ban. I don't know why I did that. Whatever, fuck it. <laughs> I didn't even read the card. I hit him for 50. Yeah, I didn't use the Defiance card. See, I didn't read the card. I didn't read the fucking card. I thought it was going to do uh, th 30 more damage, but I, I, get, I didn't read the fucking card. I have to have more prize cards in order to use its effects, so that was fucking worthless. That's okay. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. Probably should have discarded that card instead. He's got two on his Glaceon V, and he's one more to get the third attack. Pump shot. Does 20 to Manaphy, even though Manaphy's not supposed to take damage. I guess it only works on the other ones. Whatever. Alright, no big deal. Clavo. Search deck for up to three bait. 120. Okay, that's a support card. You only allow to use one per turn. Okay, okay, I got a Persia Rock. Whoop de fucking do. Um. Gonna go ahead and play Ultra Ball. Ultra, Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of a machine and a rare candy. Dungeon Rings. Give me that Charizard EX. I need it right freaking now. Um, boob Jams. I get to add. Um, I am not going to use his effect because I don't want to put it on my Pidgeot. Because I can't even summon it. Um, 
And I could put it on my mana feed, but there's no point. Although I probably should have, but whatever. Let's go ahead and attack for 180. That should go ahead and kill it. I get two prize cards because it's because of it's an EX Pokemon and they are both good. Uh, he's got Glaceon. This guy's definitely gonna win though, cause he's got way more on the on the bench, and I have nothing. Okay, that's gonna do 130. Not a kill, but um, he hasn't taken any of my prize cards, so I don't have enough power juice to kill him. Um, oh, this will this will fucking help me for sure. Okay. Go ahead and. Uh, oh, I can't use Rip Candy. Uh, I can't use it yet, but the next turn I can. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and attack. Not enough to kill, but next turn I could kill it. It it can't kill me next turn because it can't do enough damage, which is really helpful. So I'm still at the advantage, and I got a nice setup here. I could have used Technical Machine to evolve both of my Pokemon to the next step, but um, I'm not going to do that. Okay, use this effect, search for Charmeleon, evolve my Charmeleon, um, okay, and I'll go ahead and attack again, and I'll take another two, oh, I, I think I only take one, he's, he's, he's a basic, oh no, I get two! Ah, sweet. All right. So he has stuff on the bench, but he only has one Pokemon with an energy. Everything else he needs to put energy on in order to use. So he's going to use the Stadium card, but it does 20 to the Growlithe. He has nothing on Lily. But he has to put an energy or use a card to get Lily Pup off the field. Um... He might just like sacrifice it in order to stall, which is a, another yeah, is a, a, an option for him. Uh, he drew, he discarded his hand, drew seven cards. So yeah, he's gonna put it on his Arcanine. Oh, Volcanion, interesting. This guy has an interesting deck, but I'm telling you, this deck is fucking boss as shit. Uh, use Pidgeot's effect again. Get Charizard EX. I mean, this is, this is fucking disgusting, isn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna use Infernal Rain. Boom, boom, boom. Put two on him, and one on my Charmanda. Okay. And then hit it for 180. Boom. I only take one car. I only have to kill one more, and we're going to win the match. All right. So let's see what he's got now. I thought he was... I honestly thought he was going to win, because he was setting himself pr up pretty nicely, but this guy just didn't have any offense going like I did, man. My fucking deck is just stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid good. I, I he definitely made this himself because I don't remember any of these cards of the when I played the Arcanine EX deck. Um, he's gonna kill my Charizard, but it won't be enough to defeat me. I'm gonna get another Char. I'm gonna have a next turn. I'm gonna have another Charizard EX on the, unless he messes up my hand. I'm gonna have another Charizard EX on my bench. Raging Claws. Yeah. 
that was smart because he didn't have because his second effect would have forced him to get rid of his energy and he only needed that much you know he didn't need to uh, overkill me I was he was dead um, oh I have to go ahead and move my sorry okay I'm gonna play my rare oh no I can't play my rare candy because I have to have it in my hand, which is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, unless he was in my prize pool, but that's okay. I would have thought of something else. Yep. I only, ha I have three. I could, uh, I could do whatever I want, basically. Uh, uh, oh, I overdid it on him. That's, that's okay, whatever. I'm about to win anyway. Uh, even with the second effect, he can only do uh, 250, which is not enough to kill me. And uh, even if he did kill my Charizard, I just bust, bust out my other one, and that's game. And even if you killed that Charizard, I got another. I got a Pidgeot waiting, and all I need to do is put one energy on it, and I could do 120. But let's see if he could do something. I don't know. We'll see. I, I doubt it. I doubt there's anything at all he could do. He'll probably try to try anyway just for for shit. But we have our second victory of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he'll do 20 to my bench. Oh, big, big whoopity do. Although I don't understand how he's able to do that because my mana fee, I guess it's effect damage that they, they can't do to him. I thought it was, or maybe physical damage, maybe effect damage doesn't count, but it doesn't matter. We won. Delva. Yeah. I guess because he was doing effect damage and not like, uh, actual like i don't know i i thought i was supposed to not i'll have to look that up i thought i was supposed to not it says prevent all look i know you guys can't see it but on the upper the top part here it says as long as this pokemon is on your bed prevent okay well he was isn't that what he did last turn let me see the log Yeah, he used Pump Shot, and he put two damage on on my Charizard, who was on my bench. Oh, uh, maybe that, I don't know, maybe that just doesn't count, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter, Charizard Dex, EX deck is still fucking good as stupid good. We got another W! Level 300! Holy, so, holy Seminoles! Oh yeah! Tier 1 unlocked! Yeah, give me my fat rewards, baby! Oh yeah! Chin Chow! Salazl! Lulu! Iron Boulder. Is that a order, 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 order. Well, I gotta say, kudos to my opponents for not using a uh, pre-made deck and using their own shit. I'll give them credit for that. But, uh, you know, if the option's there, then why not take it, you know? Why not take it? How long have I been streaming? An hour, an hour perfect. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be all for tonight. I just wanted to do a quick stream, you know, maybe kind of explain the game a little bit. I know it wasn't the best explanation, but, uh, hey, won two games in a row right off the bat on ranked, so I'm pretty happy about that, you know? Um, maybe I'll try a new, new deck next time, just for shits and giggles i'll put it i'll even play it in a rank i don't care 
But I need to kind of, like, get a feel for the deck first. So I don't want to, like, I might do some warm-up game, like, some test, like, the first game where I was just testing the deck out to show you guys a little bit. Uh, I want to go ahead and raid on out of here. Uh, let's see. I already, I already know who I want to raid to. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if he's still, yep, he's still on. I don't know if this is the same person I, I know or if this is a different person, but regardless, I'm going to go go ahead and rate him and say hi, you know, because he's part of the same uh, uh, group of people I know, so whatever. Um, let me see here. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and rate it. Oh, I'm looking for him. Yeah, there's another guy. Do, I, I'm... Looking at random people. There's another guy doing the same thing. He was testing out a deck. Oh my god. This makes me want to go play some Zambos myself. Alright. Let's raid on out of here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Adios. And Rubidachi. Thank you. Check it out. I know it was a short stream. But check it later. Bye bye.